many are not aware that the script for the destiny of this world has already been written. What do I mean by that? I'm going to give you a prime example from scripture. Is that no matter who is elected the president, say here in the United States or any country in the world where they have uh, elections or how they determine how their leadership is uh, placed into power, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen that way anyway, in spite of the direction that we, that as individuals or even groups or organizations may try to drive things. It doesn't matter. Now, uh, several thousand years ago, many thousand years ago, in uh, Babylon, there's a king by the name of uh, Belshazzar. And many of you may know this story. You will read about him in uh, Daniel chapter 5. Well, King Belshazzar was sitting around with his, his buddies, and they're all having a good time, drinking, revelry. Then he sees a human hand, or something like a human hand, writing something on the wall. And that shook King Belshazzar so much that he, his skin turned pale, his um, knees began to quake and shake, and it just utterly terrified him. And it probably would have terrified most, if not all of us, if we saw something like that. So it must have been very terrifying. But there was a message there that he was not able to interpret. No one in his kingdom could interpret that message. And the message that he saw written on the wall was many, many tekel Paris or Pearson. But he found someone. Daniel. Daniel was able to interpret that writing on the wall, that script. That was a script. Writing means to be scripted. Now, what did that writing mean and how does it apply to our time period today? Now, Daniel interprets the writing on the wall for King Belshazzar. Many means the days of your kingdom has been numbered. Tikal means you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. And Paris or Pearson means your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. And if you know the rest of that story, the Medes and the Persians did cross over and Belshazzar's kingdom was destroyed. But here we have an example of a script. Nothing could stop what was going to occur with regards to Belshazzar's kingdom. It was destroyed. That script could not be rewritten. It was already in place. It's like back in, say, Genesis. When God said, let there be light, there was light. That was a part of the script. So my point here is that there's nothing that anyone can do today, nothing, to change the outcome of things. They may think that they're changing the outcome of things, but that's all a part of the script. I know that this is a difficult thing to fathom for many, but no matter what, there's nothing we can do to change it. If it is meant for Donald Trump, for example, to become the next or to get a second term as president, that's going to happen. If not, then it's not going to happen. Either way, we're all flowing. This world is flowing in the same direction towards something. It's destruction. It's like King Belshazzar's kingdom of Babylon was destroyed. There's nothing we can do to offset that. If we go to Daniel chapter 2, verse 44, the prophet Daniel writes something that's in alignment with what I just mentioned with regards to King Belshazzar. That God will set up a kingdom and that kingdom will crush and put an end to all of the existing kingdoms. In other words, Daniel is writing about or prophesying about the end of human rule. Because he goes on to say that God will set up a kingdom that will never come to an end. It, that is God's kingdom, will crush and put to an end once and for all, all kingdoms. And it itself, that is God's kingdom, will abide forever. Now, please don't confuse the destruction of the world with 
the destruction of the earth. The earth itself will never be destroyed. How do I know that? Well, if you believe what's written in scripture, if you go to Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse four, King Solomon writes, generations come and go, but the earth itself remains or abideth forever. So the earth itself is not going anywhere. I've talked about this in other videos that many people confuse world and earth and they want to make them the same thing they're not. You see, worlds come and go. The world of Noah's day existed at one point in time. It was destroyed. It's no longer with us, is it? But the earth itself is still here. The world of Sodom and Gomorrah existed at one point in time. It was destroyed, but the earth itself is still here. There have been many kingdoms that resided on the earth. They were destroyed, but the earth is still here. The world of the day that we're living in right now, one day, like all the other kingdoms and worlds in the past, will one day be a thing of the past. But the earth itself will still be here. So please don't confuse earth with worlds. The earth itself will never be destroyed. It's what has been placed upon it will. So the script has already been written. And who is the author of that script? God himself. In Genesis, who's speaking? God. He's speaking. Moses is scripting. He's writing down. My point here is that the entire world is going in one direction. Not in that direction. It is going in that direction. And yet ahead is its destruction. I just gave you Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. And I gave you the example of King Belshazzar. Many, many tickle person. His days were numbered. His kingdom was divided and given to the Medes and Persians. It ended. This world will also end. The writing is on the wall. Many don't see it. Many today want to maintain the particular governments and political ideologies that they're in. It's all futile. It's all vanity. All of it must go away. God will not allow human beings to ruin his earth. It is written in Revelation that God is going to ruin those who ruin the earth. And we have been terrible tenants on God's earth. I'm sitting in a parking lot right now at a Walmart. And I'm looking out at this Walmart and there's trash just strewn everywhere. People don't care if they pollute the, the land, the air, the water. Even in these little things, they don't care. God is not going to allow this to continue. Only he knows it's on his timetable when he decides to say enough's enough. Many, many tickle Parison. The days of this world have been numbered. It has been found wanting and it will be destroyed. So the script has already been written. And I also encourage you, read from the book of Acts. And the lesson there is we see a, a Pharisee by the name of Gamaliel where he steps in and he saves the lives or prevents the, the, the disciples who were out preaching in the public square. Now the disciples had already been thrown in jail and they were released. And they're brought before the, the Jewish religious authority. And the Pharisee Gamaliel comes along and he says, look, leave these men alone. Because if the work that they're doing is from God, there's nothing you can do about it. In fact, you might find yourself fighting against God. And then he goes on to say, but if the work that they're doing is not from God, it's going to pass away anyway. You see, many, and especially these Christians out here and other religious groups, want to take matters into their own hands and uh, steer the direction in which things are going to go, not realizing that they could be fighting against God. I know persons who have done all they can to shut down my channel 
if it's by God's permission that my channel exists, there's nothing any of you can do about it. If it's by God's permission that the various religious groups exist and out in public preaching, or they can be in these many denominations preaching. It doesn't have to be Christian. It can be from the Islamic camp, Buddhist camp, the Hindu camp, whatever. It's by God's permission that they are allowed to do those things. Unknown to them and you, God may be using them for some other purpose to position things in a matter, in a, in a manner to move things in the direction that he wants them to go. So it doesn't matter who the next president's going to be. It doesn't matter if, if it's a, a Kamala Harris, it doesn't matter if it's Donald Trump or anyone else. I'm referring to what's going to be occurring here in this country in November. It doesn't matter because everything is moving in the same direction. The world's destruction. The writing is on the wall. Many don't see it. Many are unable to interpret it. The script has already been written. This is R. Jerome Harris, the disciple. Thank you for listening.